Janet, what do you think we need to do as women to move forward? Other than forgetting about the fear, being trustworthy, what do you think we need to do? This is the way I look about investing and having money. It shouldn't matter who's in the White House, whether it's Trump, whether it's Biden, in order to be wealthy or to be well taken care of, and Chad, you can jump in. It shouldn't matter who's in the White House, because once you're part of that 1% or you're comfortable, everyone in that White House wants to make sure if you have money, they want make they want to make sure you keep money. They have that. I'm gonna bring this up and please guys don't nail me. Don't get upset with me. And I think we need to change that. We need to be the change that we want to see. That's what I think we need to do. Because I don't give a crap what's going on out there. It's not going to affect what I'm doing. If people don't want to jump on board, then bye. See ya. What I'm thinking is we need to form something for us to understand that I trust you, I love you, I want you to prosper. And I was gonna mention this, and again, guys, please forgive me because I don't talk about this on the show, but I'm gonna bring it up now. A Couple of days ago, they released Trump's record. Now don't log off, let me finish. I'm going somewhere with this. They mentioned that Trump didn't pay any taxes, right? Or maybe it's $750 or whatever. Whether it's people are saying it's illegal or not, he had loopholes. There were loopholes and there's, and plus not only that, there's codes that are set up when you're making X amount of money where you can put your money so you can pay less taxes or no taxes. I don't think there was anything illegal about it. I just think that he had the right people to know what to do with the money. So I brought that up guys, not to just mention him. It could have been anyone. I'm bringing that up to say, when you make a certain amount, you find those credits that can help you because you want to be part of that, you know, close to 1%. What are your thoughts on that, Janet? Well, you know, it is easy to criticize one of our leaders, but let's just think in our own little family. We want to pay as little as possible because we want to make our dollar stretch. So any kind of credit, you know, and I tell the kids about the time you really start costing me money, I lose that credit, you know, because when they're 17, that's it. And it's like, well, now we're talking cars and insurance and college and who knows what all. So, yeah, I agree with you on that. But the thing is, we all are allowed to have our own opinions. We don't have to agree about every little thing, but we do need to support each other and our voice. We need to hear one another in love, you know, because if you're going to have a closed mind, if you're not going to be open to learning, and if you're going to shut down any kind of dialogue, any kind of thing like that, then you're not going to be able to stretch in life. You're not going to have success, you're going to be trapped in this little hamster wheel where you're going in circles, you're hearing the same thing from the same people, but let's all try loving one another. Let's try getting along. Let's allow somebody to speak with civility. Jackie, you and I are, are taking turns tonight. What a concept. <laughs> you know, what an amazing concept that you would let me speak and then I would let you speak. You know, and a lot of people don't do that, but my thing is we just have to learn as women to start trusting each other. Because if you trust me, because I don't want people to treat me the way they treat themselves. I don't want anyone to do that at all. I'm going to tell you how I want you to treat me. Because if you don't know what self-love is, and if you don't know what how to love yourself and self-love, or the definition of self-love, because some people don't love themselves and they're gonna treat you the way they treat themselves because if they're not loving themselves and then you start wondering, hey, what's going on? Mm -mm. Let me give you the ground rules and tell you how I want you to treat me. There isn't anything that I didn't tell you. So I think we need to start there. So we have to start breaking down that wall, wherever that crabs in a barrel mentality, we have to get rid of that and start it as of today. As a community, I'm telling y'all, when I'm telling you I'm going to be marching for this, when I mean marching, I mean getting this together. Because we have to have that. Why shouldn't you want to go to Dubai? Why wouldn't you want to go to Bali? Why do you have to like put it on your credit card and when you come back, you have to worry about it? No more. We're not doing that. So right. we have to live our life. You know, they talk about in heaven, it's the pearly gates with diamonds and rubies. I don't want to wait to go to heaven and have diamonds and rubies when I'm walking. I want to get some of that boy now. So why not go to these vacations? Because I haven't traveled in three years, but traveling is my thing, my husband and I. 
So mm -hmm. why not travel and travel with girlfriends? Let's start building wealth. Let's talk about some things. So my question to you, Ms. Wilborn, why do you think women are not investing? Adina, why do you think women are not investing? Courtney, why do you think women are not investing? Because I've noted that 8% of women who have the money are investing. That means 92% of men are doing the investing and only 8% of women are investing. We got to change that. And it doesn't matter if you're 50, 60, 70, as long as you have breath and some money coming in or Janet can show you how to bring some money in, we going to do this. Ms. Wilburn said, my daughter has taken me to eight countries. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Because, you know, we traveled, we've done some things. Ms. Wilburn, since you said your daughter has taken you to eight countries, and I'm sure it's just great. Now, you know, maybe you want to do some things with your girlfriends. Okay, so Ms. Wilburn said, they don't have the mindset. And that's what I said earlier. Most women don't have the mindset and it's not disrespecting them. It's just that they just don't have it and we have to teach it. I can't wait for next week to see what we're going to talk about because we have to start building trust. I think once you build the trust, everything else will come. Courtney said she thinks it's knowledge and fear. Miss Wilburn said, oh, her daughter's a New York City police officer. That's what I'm talking about. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. You know, I live in Georgia. These guys don't make enough money. But in New York, you know, Adina said, I've always had a 401k or stock, real estate. I've lived overseas by serving my country. Love this discussion. Thank you, Adina. We're going to have more discussion. But again, for those who are new to the show, the Women Are Worthy show, I created a platform so we can embrace, build character, and motivate the souls of women. And not just gossip about celebrities and all that hoorah stuff. Things that impact our lives, we need to talk about. Whether that's sex, whether that's money, whether that's marriage. By the way, y'all, y'all need to give me my shout outs because October 9th, I'll be married 30, one year. Three more to the same guy, y'all, to the same. He's still around, too. He's still around my little boo thing. So to my baby. But we want to have more discussions of things that's going to impact our lives. We have to continue to keep talking about it. Some women don't want to talk about money. You know, it's like, no, what's in your bank account? I don't want to look at it. And then when things start bouncing, you know, we have to take a hard look at it. Miss Wilburn said it's very hard for women to connect because of trust but to learn from one another. And that's what we're looking to do. We want to make sure, and that's my goal. I left corporate America, Janet, to start this and it's not going to stop. It is a movement. So for those of you who haven't, please make sure you like the Women Are Worthy show page on Instagram, the Women Are Worthy show page on Facebook, and the Women Are Worthy network. Subscribe to that on YouTube. That's our YouTube channel. Janet, what nuggets would you like to leave the audience with? It starts with how you see yourself. And you were talking about self-love. You were talking about community. And a lot of women, whether they're projecting and they're in fear, they think everyone's looking at them in judgment and condemnation. And we have to get to the point where we love ourselves to get to the point where we don't care if somebody's looking at us that way. That means they're in condemnation and judgment. We're pure. We're good. We have an essence that draws people to us. We have love. You know, we have an outpouring of wanting to serve. And, you know, the Bible talks about the older women teaching the younger. You don't see that as much anymore. You kind of get phased out as you get older. And I think let's be vibrant. Let's talk to young women and say, you know, you look fantastic and open up a dialogue and say, you know, how does it feel to be so young and beautiful? You know, cause it's been a few years for some of us, but the important thing is kind of getting in touch with who we are, loving ourselves and allowing that to emanate. And, you know, we've talked about this before, Jackie, we have to have like soul to soul connection. We have to develop that trust. And part of that is being vulnerable and part of it is taking risks. And we know every time we've taken a risk, it's paid off. You know, even like going through a bankruptcy, it taught me so much. Just like you said, I wish I hadn't had to go through it to learn it, but I did. And now I can look at somebody and say, hey, you know, I see some red flags here. You know, you keep going down this path. 
there could be problems. I've lived it. I can tell you that. Here's what I did. If the person you're talking to isn't receptive, if they're closed off, if they don't want to learn, then you're going to have to find somebody who's open. And that's my mission to talk to women who want to talk back, want to offer something of value, you know, want to be in the playing field of life. You know, I love it. I love you, Jackie. I think you are amazing. I love your words of optimism and hope and, you know, that your message is, is broad enough to reach everyone that has a soul. So I love it. So I don't know if I gave you a nugget or not, but if you gave us a nugget, I just want women who are watching this show to constantly don't give up hope, love yourself. But more importantly, when you have a negative Nelly in your life, look, there's this saying about, oh, if you're going to cheer me on and if you're not positive, I need you to go to the back of the room. No, kick them out of the auditorium, kick them out of your life. What happens is so many people share our space that there's so many people that want to come into that space. But because you have those seat fillers, as I call them, get rid of them. If people are not feeding you, financing you, and when I mean financing, it doesn't just need to be money. It could be they're pouring into you and feeding you spiritually. You don't need to have any of those three people. If they're not doing it, look, I'm at a point in my life, I'm getting older, and I don't agree with the whole thing about, you know, always going to younger people, not what you're saying. I believe in this country, when a woman turns 50, 45, 50, because you see it in Hollywood, People forget about them. So I want to make sure that women who are 45, whatever, even if you're 30, that you kick ass, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you have a tribe. In other countries, in Asia, they're revered like, oh my God, you're wise. And I want to bring that back into my community. My community are women who are positive. I don't care if you're white, you're black, you're Asian, you're Indian, you're, Ch you're I don't care. As long as you're positive, it's just called women are worthy, but we're all about supporting each other. When your instinct is telling you someone is not good, let it go, leave them alone. It's okay not to be okay. What's not okay is not being okay forever. But you can do that. That's why I don't like when someone says, well, I'm 50 years old or 60 years old. No, you're 50 or 60 years young, okay? Because these young whippersnappers need to learn from us, okay? Because when you go to the doggone bank and you give something as $12.20 and you give them 20 20 they can't break change. They can't give you a change. So we need to start respecting our older women because the younger women are fine because they have the Kardashians and all those people telling them, plump up, do this. And we don't have <laughs> shows like that for women that are positive. If you think about it, if you're over 40, you don't see that. And a lot of these celebrities are saying this. I keep on red, honey. Y'all ask for this red, honey. So I'm just saying... You know, we're going to be bringing more of this on and I'm bringing more shows on tomorrow. When you tune in, finally, our schedules was, was crisscrossed. We're finally having Angela Bassett's stylist on the show tomorrow, but we're going to be on Instagram. We're not going to be on Facebook. We're going to be on Instagram. I'll put the flyer out. Courtney said, I'm 43 and starting my life over. Baby, that's what I'm talking about. You're starting your life and every day you wake up, you can start your life over every single day you have the opportunity. So we're gonna be bringing you the tools, the questions, and we're gonna dive right deep into it. We just don't want people to feel embarrassed if you filed bankruptcy, if your credit score is 200 or 150, don't, don't be embarrassed. We want to share just like Janet and I are talking about because she's like a kindred spirit for me. She is the opposite of me where she's calm and mellow, where I'm like hyper, you know, I'm kicking you in your butts because we need both ends of the spectrum, you know? So Janet, I just love what you're doing because you're talking about me, but let me give you your props. I love the fact that you want to do this with women. You've been there. And instead of keeping that secret or keeping whatever it is to yourself, you're willing to share with women who want to be open, who want to be fiscally and financially savvy. Because I'm telling you, in five years, I'm going to plan a trip for a lot of women and we're going to go because hopefully Rona's going to be over. Okay? Rona's going to be over. 
and we're going to go someplace exotic. I already have in my mind where, I mean, I may dip there before you guys, but I already have it planned because I'm going to open it up to my women are worthy people for us to go and just have a girl's trip. And it's going to be phenomenal. Oh my God. I can't wait. I, I almost want to tell you guys where, but I can't. So for those of you at home, get your dog on passports together because you can still do your passports now. Get your passports together because I'm going to put it on you guys and we can talk about that. So Janet, I want to thank you for what you're doing. I want to thank you for being consistent. I want to thank you for continuing to send me my emails every morning. And you're just a good soul. I want you to know you're a good soul. I feel like I've known you forever. And I want you to continue to just do wonderful things that you're doing. And I'm glad that we're going to be doing some things together to break this generational barrier that a lot of women are going through. So I want to thank you. So Women Are Worthy show presents winning on Wednesday. It's just a tongue twister, Jan. <laughs> so, you know, come back if you have any questions or bring your girlfriend's page. Bring your girlfriends. I know the audio wasn't so great tonight, but we're working out some kinks. Janet live in the mountains, y'all. She live in the mountains, honey. She lives in the boondocks, okay? She's using Ethernet. That's how far from the boondocks she lives. But at the end of the day, I'm just so proud of you, Janet. And just to be so transparent where most people aren't, just to be transparent about what you've gone through, what you, you know, living your truth. I really respect that. So we're going to be back next Wednesday at seven o'clock. Janet, it's just been a joy. I can talk to you forever. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel, Women Are Worthy Network on YouTube, because we do the show here. We air it and then we edit it and then we put it on YouTube. So if there's any questions you guys have for next week, please let us know because I'm telling you, this is going to be some stuff. So Wednesdays, we're going to talk about finances. We're going to talk about sex in your 50s and 60s and 40s. Y'all, we yes, we're going there, okay? We're going there. <laughs> Plant-based eating, we're going to talk about everything. Those taboo subjects, we're going to talk about it. But we're doing it because we want to make sure people don't feel alone. And we can talk because this is a platform where we can talk. So guys, it's been wonderful. It's been great. When I started, it was daytime in the background. It's all night right now. So we want everyone to have a great week. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow on Instagram. I'm going to put the post. I haven't been in on Instagram for such a long time. Oh my God. Her name is Jennifer Austin. She's going to be on the show tomorrow at four o'clock Eastern time. I just can't wait to talk to her. She is phenomenal and how she got in touch with Angela Bassett. I mean, this whole thing was manifestation because I called her before she was her stylist and I'm just so proud of her. So anyway, guys, this is great. Bye.